Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariola and in today's video I will be talking about smart casual way of dressing. What is it? How do we do it? Can you hear the birds? <laughs> and why do we want to do it? I I haven't invented the term and I don't want to sound like I know everything about it so I want to show you what it is from my perspective how I understand it how I dress uh, in a smart casual way and what I love about it so first of all what is smart casual I think we just need to separate these two words and try to analyze them, but very quickly. To me, smart is all clothes that come from your typical office environment, which is a pair of trousers, a classic cotton shirt, but it can be also a silk shirt, even a linen shirt, I would say, can be still casual in your summer uh, wardrobe. Uh, what else? A blazer but also in terms of um, outerwear. A nice tailored coat, uh, whether it's uh, short or long, a trench coat and shoes, especially leather shoes. Something quite structured, whether it's your uh, brogues, loafers, derbies. And then we have the casual side, which is, uh, for example, a white t-shirt or any t-shirt a pair of jeans and a jumper and of course things like your leather jacket, your denim jacket. I will include any slouchy and very casual clothes into the mix. We are just talking about things that are more put together even if they are casual. In terms of shoes I would say your white sneakers, your sandals for example for summer, any leather sandals, something that looks more smart. I don't want to be too specific because this is just my interpretation of that term and of the way of dressing. So on one side we have the clothes that are smart, refined, curated, put together, chic, elegant. All these words that to me uh, represent um, office, represent menswear, represent tailoring. And on the other hand we have relaxed, casual, um, practical and comfortable but also nonchalant so to me smart casual is about wearing your best clothes your tailored clothes your beautifully made clothes and not necessarily the most expensive clothes sometimes uh, everything can be secondhand but your really nice well-made clothes with something more casual to create this balanced outfit more wearable and suitable for your lifestyle so I basically analyzed the way I dress and why I dress like this and I created different aspects of dressing in a smart, casual way. Right, so number one is tailoring and this is, in my opinion, the most important factor and the easiest way to look put together. Whatever you wear, even like me today, um, a pair of blue jeans and a white t-shirt, and you pair it with a blazer, instantly your outfit looks so much more chic, put together and more sophisticated. There should be at least one element of tailoring and maximum of two. Okay, let me explain. At least one tailored piece is what I'm wearing today. It's just one blazer. But you can also do uh, two tailored pieces, which would be a pair of trousers and a blazer. Or maybe a midi skirt and a blazer. And that is still balanced. If you pair it with a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, or your striped t-shirt, and your sneakers, for example. But if you pair it with a white shirt and or loafers, the outfit becomes too structured, too serious and too office-like. So we're going one step too far, I feel. Or you could do a pair of jeans, your derbies or loafers, a white t-shirt and a blazer or a trench coat. Again, you have these two tailored pieces, not too much, not too little. It's very balanced, it's really uh, pleasing to your eye. It doesn't look like you tried too hard, but it also looks like you actually made an effort. Number two is fit and proportions. It's simply not everything tight and not everything oversized. Oversized is your friend in a smart casual style because it always adds some nonchalance, it adds this relaxed feel. So if you have your wide leg uh, full length trousers which are quite voluminous, you don't want to pair them with a 
really big oversized t-shirt and a really big oversized blazer because now we have no proportions everything is out of balance and instead of smart casual you're just being slouchy we can do a few things with this outfit you can either swap your t-shirt for a fitted top something like a tank top your long sleeve you can try different trousers maybe something more fitted like your cigarette trousers you can try a pair of a straight leg jeans there are so many things you can do here uh, but it's about the balance you can try more fitted blazer and more fitted t-shirt and everything will fall back into this balanced and nicely proportioned outfit I'm wearing today quite an oversized t-shirt and loose jeans but my blazer is very structured, it's more fitted, it's probably one of my most fitted blazers, but it's not tight. And here, don't fall into that trap, very fitted and very oversized. It doesn't have to be that far away from each other, it can be straight leg jeans and oversized t-shirt. And that's enough to make the outfit look really good. And very important thing, find the best fit for you, for your body type because what uh, looks good on me may not be so good on you. Look at your curves, your height, your uh, proportions uh, between your arms, waist and your, uh, and your hips. All these things matter, so just try things on and see what works for you. So fit and proportions will be different for everyone. Number three, color palette and tonal dressing. I put that together because it's all about colors. Before I start, I think you can create a smart casual outfit with colors. It's doable, but I think it's just much harder to achieve the same result, to achieve this refined, very well put together outfit. I would strongly recommend watching some videos or reading articles of Daria Andronescu. I'm not sure if I say it correctly, so I'll put her name on the screen. She talks about capsule wardrobe, very curated, sustainable capsule wardrobes with colors. But as you know, I love my neutrals, I love my blacks, whites, grey, beige, neutral colors look more elegant, look more chic and put together, more refined, they look more expensive as well. Neutrals are versatile, I think it's just so much easier, so much less effort to actually put a really nice outfit together with neutral colors. And tonal dressing is just uh, pulling your clothes in the same or similar colors to create a very cohesive, balanced, very clean outfit. I would say the more different shades and textures, the more interesting the look. Tonal dressing looks very chic, it looks very sophisticated. It's an easy way to look 10 times better with quite a simple items. Of course, I would still encourage you to wear your one tailored piece, which could be a pair of trousers, and then maybe pair it with your hoodie, your trench coat, um, your white sneakers, and your bag. Everything in, in the same or similar colors. It's not gonna work for everyone. If, for example, you like me and you have a, a high contrast in you, I wouldn't recommend going for something like all beige. If I was uh, going to create an all beige outfit, I would just leave this base because white close to my face just makes everything more fresh and clean. And with that, of course, I could wear my uh, beige trousers, my white sneakers, my beige trench coat or my wool coat. Number four is quality. If you want your outfit to look good, refined, put together, invest in good quality, good material, good craftsmanship, avoid anything synthetic. Try to invest in natural fabrics. It doesn't have to be very expensive. First of all, natural fabrics are more sustainable, more durable, plus you feel so much better in a really good quality clothes. Just remember, less is more. Just invest in a few very good quality pieces that you know you're gonna wear a lot. And pay attention not just to the material, but also how the pieces are made, how the, how the buttons are stitched. If there is any pattern, look at the pattern, if it uh, matches on the seams. Um, just touch the material, stretch it out and see if something is peeling before you even try it on, if the buttons are falling off, any loose threads. If you see things like that, just don't buy it. Maybe try different shop, 
try investing a little bit more in that piece. When it comes to tailoring, number one is secondhand shops, vintage shops, thrift shops, whatever you have in your area. Uh, the clothes that were made 40, 50 years ago, they, they are so high quality, so well made, beautiful material. Uh, you can find beautiful blazers, really good quality shirts. But of course there are some other shops that I will put in the description box, I don't want to advertise here. Shops that I personally um, choose when I buy such pieces and I think they have a good or relatively good quality. Don't forget about the accessories that finish off your look. Things like a good pair of shoes, well-made, understated handbag, a watch or nice jewellery. You only need a few nice bags in different colours. I always prefer more structured, minimalistic bags as they seem more elegant and chic. Uh, same goes for jewellery. You don't need a lot, you just need some good quality, few versatile practical pieces that you can wear on your daily basis. Number five is a rule of three. And here I compressed two different things in one because I think it's just gonna be easier for you to remember. So it's about the colors and it's about the number of pieces in your outfit. Most of the time I wear maximum of three colors in one outfit. It can be one, it can be two, but most of the time it, it's not more than three colors. So for example, today I'm wearing beige, white and blue. And if I went outside like this, I would wear my white sneakers and that's it, we have three colors. It's this nice balance. If you add another color, especially if it's a strong color, uh, the balance gets disrupted. It's a little bit different story with pastels, uh, very subtle col colors, because I know some people who wear very mm, muted colors and they can pull off four or even five colors in one outfit because it's not that visible. But if you like me and you wear a lot of contrast, then it's more visible and it's just in your face. You, cannot unsee it. So three colors is this magic number. I think it also helps you to remember about the colors of your accessories. It's just a smart way of putting your outfit together so you don't get confused, you don't get too excited with other things. If you remember you have these three colors, it's easier to control your outfit and control how you wear your clothes and not the other way around. But most of all it just looks more pleasing it looks more it looks more expensive it looks more um chic and it looks more effortless and the rule of three when it comes to number of items in your outfit this is something i know it's impossible or almost impossible to do in a summer hot day but spring and autumn are perfect for that what i mean by the rule of three it's about remembering that third element. So you have your trousers or a skirt, you have your top, and the third element would be your overshirt, your blazer, your uh, waistcoat, your vest, anything, your, your coat or your trench coat, anything that can complete the outfit, can actually close it in a really nice frame. I would say it's this cherry on top. It adds this extra layering. A layering, as we know, is very um, effortless. It's very chic. It adds interest to your outfit. Number six is about mixing different styles. Because smart casual to me is all about effortless, nonchalant, um, relaxed uh, outfit. Something that, something that is really put together, but without really trying too hard. And mixing styles is exactly that. If you uh, go too much in one direction, for example, too feminine, you wear your um, midi skirt, your pretty frilly blouse and uh, high heels. First of all, this outfit is boring. It's very uh, conventional, it's very predictable and there is um, nothing nonchalant about this outfit. It's uh, It may be okay for an office, but it's not fun, modern, it's not casual, everything is too matchy-matchy. With smart casual, we want some balance, we want harmony of uh, theoretically very different pieces but when you put them together they really work and they create this 
interesting and fun outfit. So with this skirt and this very feminine outfit, you want to toughen it up. So you want to add pieces that come from a different style direction, but also something that comes from menswear, something that's more structured. You could go for a leather jacket, a very oversized cashmere or wool jumper. You can go for a blazer with a t-shirt because blazer is structured, is more of a menswear, so you have something opposite. And of course for shoes, I would never wear heels with my midi skirt. Unless I was going out on a date, then I would still tweak that outfit. But for a casual day, you can wear this skirt with your derbies, with your chunky loafers, with your nice boots like this Isabelle Moron western boots. I'll show you this example. This is not a suit, but it's navy uh, pinstripe trousers, men's trousers and a navy men's blazer. You need to be careful how you pair it with your accessories because uh, you may end up with a very uh, masculine outfit. So what I do in such cases, I just look for pieces that are more feminine. So I would wear a very nice long necklace that first of all creates this V shape, which is always very flattering but also it's more delicate. A very good piece of jewelry that always works as a softening element is pearls. Pearls are very feminine, are very elegant, so pairing them with this very masculine outfit will um, instantly change the whole look. You can go for different shoes. Uh, you can try your ballerina shoes or your Mary Janes, or of course you can wear uh, high heels with that. I also go for a more feminine and structured bag with such outfits. So as you can see, you can add so many elements to mix different styles to create a very smart casual outfit but still feel like it's you. Number seven is about finding yourself a fashion style icon. Find someone that has a style you aspire to have, uh, whatever you see special in their outfits, in their style, the way they style things. And it will be so easy because you can literally copy some outfits. You can analyze the outfits one to one, why this works, why these shoes work with this blazer for example. I think celebrities are much easier of a target, I'm sorry for using that word, because you can find a lot of photos of the outfits, uh, that's the only reason. Whenever I'm in doubt, whenever I'm uninspired, I just go to my Pinterest board and to certain people and I always find some inspiration. It's really good to have someone you can always go and steal some outfits. <laughs> Number eight and the very last thing is motivation. Why do you want to uh, dress in a smart casual way? Why do you want to dress better? For me, my outfits, whatever I wear, however I style it, is never about people around me. Uh, I do it for myself, I never do it for my husband, my friends, my uh, so-called friends to show off. I only do it for myself because I love looking good. It boosts my creativity, it boosts my uh, self-confidence. So why would I do it for someone else if I have such a great motivation? So think about it because I don't think trying to impress other people, look good for other people like your partner or your friends will do the trick here. I think you really need to have motivation deep down here to actually want to do it every day. And I think what's more beautiful than doing things for ourselves for a change. So this is a smart casual my way. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it fun, interesting, useful. Uh, because I always get comments about my style, um, in my videos. I believe many of you love this uh, way of dressing. I wanted to chop it into pieces and show you that it's really not that difficult. It's just about knowing certain elements and about styling clothes in a certain way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so you don't miss my future videos. And in the meantime, uh, have a lovely week and see you in the next one. Bye!